In late 2012, 41,000 retirees found their pension assets being moved to an insurance company. Behind that is a major story and a new word in our vocabulary called de-risking. What happens when a company de-risks? They transfer uh, an obligation out of a pension plan into a group annuity contract. Once you're in a group annuity contract, that insurance company is regulated at the state level, but you will not have any visibility into how your assets are performing. Um, and you're subject to a whole host of risks, including the risk that the insurance company itself runs into trouble and gets taken over by a state regulator. What is critical to understand in the Verizon context is for the first time, 41,000 people were taken out of a plan that continues to exist and placed without their consent into a group annuity contract. Right now, the Verizon annuity uh, is being funded by Prudential which has a very good rating and appears to be uh, in good shape. But there's nothing to prevent Prudential from transferring that annuity contract to a third party. Uh, I think we learned during the financial crisis that nobody's too big to fail. And uh, a lot of these insurance companies are pursuing this pension business and they have a very high concentration of exposure. Uh, and it's not going to be known for quite some time whether or not they properly invested or whether or not they're going to have the wherewithal to make good on all those obligations, which for many of you young retirees are not coming due for some time. Once a uh, group annuity contract gets purchased, the annuitants, the folks receive, the retirees receiving the payments, are subject to state law. It's very important to know that your benefits change depending on a number of factors. If you move, there could be consequences to your pension benefits that are payable under annuity. Usually, we never had to worry about what the implications were to our pension when we moved. Now, we may have cause for concern. It also has implications if you are in financial trouble, because as a recipient of a pension, your pension is exempt from attachment by a creditor. This is not true in the case of an annuity. So it's very, very important for seniors to know that depending on where they live, they may face different treatment in the event of bankruptcy or a lawsuit brought against them. Some states exempt part of your pension for tax purposes, but if, if you are one of the people who are the recipient of an annuity where you used to have a pension, you ought to find out how your state treats your, your income. Our pension was always something we could count on. Now we're in a position where this might not be the case. Our pension might become an annuity. And if you are a retiree and you're not sure exactly where you stand or, or what the ramifications are of de-risking, I urge you to contact protectseniors.org and we'll be able to provide you with some guidance and some information. We can also make information available about uh, Guarantee Association coverage limits, uh, current exemptions under state law, and other issues that might pertain to your particular case. If you reach out to protectseniors.org, they'll make sure that the information gets passed along appropriately and you get the information that you need. We're battling this for you, all right? But we need your help, we need your donations, we need your involvement and we need you to help participate with your members of Congress as well as your members of your state legislature.